Being a cop is often all action and all drama. Well, today's video is all action, all drama, and all Karen. How could it get much better, you ask? Well, today is an hour long special. It's good versus evil, it's justice versus injustice, but most of all, it's Karens versus cops. Let's jump in. Having your priorities in order is an important thing, and unfortunately, this Karen has her the wrong way around when confronting an officer during an arrest of a convicted abuser, all because it was happening near the abuser's church. Nice to meet you. Where's Ryan? He's in the back of the car. You can talk to him. Is he? I can. Mm -hmm. He's going back in that church. You I'm have... sorry he's not. We'll find out. I'm gonna go back down. You do not have the authority <laughs> to come into a church. Mm -hmm and arrest anybody. I was never asked to leave. I was never I was never denied access you to the You do church. not have the authority. It was not with the intent. I don't Like I said to violate anybody's so rights or anything like that. We we got word that he would he had come here and we were trying to locate him. For what purpose? I have a domestic violence victim and that as far as that that is concerned mm -hmm. takes priority over and their safety takes priority. Their safety does not allow you to violate the law of this country, and that's what you just did. If I would have asked you to come in your church, would you have let me? Because I asked everybody else. We have people here, helping us try to find you. You can come it. in. You cannot arrest we sure, we sure anybody can. in the sanctuary of this place. We sure can. You cannot. It is. It was illegal. not the intention to violate the sanctuary. Of so sorry, I don't know about your intention, but here's what I do know. We were, we're trying to get locate to the bottom him. of it. That's I understand fine. you're trying to locate him, and I respect what you do. We need you. But you need to respect the sanctity of this institution. Even the federal government cannot come in and arrest it's, somebody. You, East Haven if police, the circumstances have no were, were option. Under, if it was under those circumstances, I would understand, and I would agree with you 100%. It wasn't like that. This is not going to go. That's why I even had him sit down, and I, I asked her. I asked her. I asked your secretary to call you, so he had the ability to speak to you first. It doesn't change the fact that you have no authority to do what you did. So. After living a life with no one telling her no, this entitled princess sees red when her card is declined, and ends up trashing the store before the boys in blue put her in her place. What happens if you give a male Karen a crumb of power? It goes straight to their head, of course. This clip captures politician Martin Hyde, who tries to tarnish a Sarasota police officer's career because, just like the rest of Karen Kind, he thinks he's above the law. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? You can do this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry? My license, please. Sir, can I have your paperwork, please? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? You're not going to give me your registration, sir. You can arrest me? Okay, sir. I refuse to produce your registration. Okay. Why, Why sir? Doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Okay, Where's your video? All right. Is it your Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? I'm 1426. Call the supervisor. Sir, you're going to be issued a citation. Anything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm going to go through what I need to go through. No, I have not interested. This crazy cat loving Karen clearly has no grasp on how age works. You'll know what I mean. Wait for it. You're not even supposed to be here. I'm allowed to be here. You got nothing to do with it. You're not allowed you got to be nothing here. to do with it. Why don't you get back in your apartment? And I'm 71, and you shouldn't be upsetting us older people all the time. I'm not upsetting you. You are. You're tying your cat on the staircase. You're tying your cat on You're tying your cat on the staircase. Oh, you are doing is nagging and picking on everybody. Oh, get it on the tape. I will. Go report to housing. I will. Oh, I'll come here. You. you come here and harass me. You know, I had a drunk living there. And you're, and you're got a drunk living down and below you know me. What? And you're a drinker. You're, you're the worst. Your cat poos everywhere. It doesn't. It does. I just washed it off today on the bus. That the... wasn't my cat. That's your cat. That tied up there. That was not my cat. That was not my cat. I know where my cat is. And firstly, you I asked you nicely about the cat. You started yeah, yelling well, at me. You didn't ask me nicely this afternoon, did you? Please. Grow up! Go away. You're too young to be old. 
mental case. Grow up! Go away. These patient officers try to deal with the male Karen behind the camera, who think they know the law better than the officers when they tell him to leave. But he demands to know what he's done wrong. Even if he did stay, I wouldn't want to eat the food they'd be cooking him. Am I being arrested for anything I'm doing? I did, do, did, I, did I do anything wrong? Sir, they're a private business, and as a private business, they can ask you to leave. Did I do anything wrong, though? Doesn't I'm asking that, you. So I'm asking you, did I do anything wrong? I didn't do anything. I didn't care with them. I did not come with them. I came by myself. Okay. Then you can leave by yourself. Is I'm arrested for anything I'm doing wrong? You're not under arrest, no. So are you refusing my service? Yes. Why are you refusing my service? Because, because I'm black? Answer the this question. Because I'm black? You're the only one that's bringing race into it. I sat here first. There's no problem for me sitting right here. And we're re gonna refuse you service, so you need to leave. You can't not refuse somebody's service. Okay. I am a, I am a taxpayer, Saginaw Township resident. Okay. Whatever happened, happened. I, I was not around what happened. I came over here for a totally separate call. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for trespassing. How am I being arrested? What did I do wrong? Right now, you're refusing to leave. That's what you're doing, doing wrong. It's called trespassing. That's called racist. What did I do wrong? Can you show me what I did wrong? The manager came over and said you were being disorderly. No manager came over. Sir, you keep interrupting me. Manager came over and told us can you, please, you were being can you, disorderly. Can you give me the manager? You're not being arrested. If you choose to get up and walk out the door, then I, we are giving you every opportunity. So that is that is, that so is a racist. Leave? That is a racist judgment towards me because I am black. No, sir. I didn't do You're anything wrong. I didn't do anything this. wrong in here. You're the one bringing race into this. Because I am. So I've now asked you at least twice to leave. So I'm going to tell you one more time. This cranky grandma Karen doesn't just think she knows the law. She thinks she's above it after telling the officer she's not under arrest and she doesn't have to pay her fine. Talk about the nerve. Well, I did issue a, for a defective equipment. It's $80. Uh, you have till September 16th to take care of this. Uh, to get you to sign there with the exodus. So you don't even give a warning? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. Well, I'm not going to give you a warning for something you've been driving for six months. Well, I don't want to sign it because I don't want to do $80. You don't want to sign it? No, because I don't think that I deserve to pay $80 for something that is fixable and I can fix it. All right. That's all you want Go ahead, to step do. out of the car. Why? Because you're under arrest. Step no, out. Not. Step out of the vehicle. Step out. Step out. I'm giving you a law for order. Step out. You be fair with me and I'll be fair with you. Step out. No. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under no. arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not under no arrest. Do not. Do not oh. take off. Karens normally think they're above the law. But in this next clip, it seems this Karen has invented a law of her own. I need your driver's license proof insurance, ma'am. Man, I'm scared. I need your driver's license proof insurance, ma'am. I need your driver's license to prove insurance, ma'am, or you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm going to break your window, and I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle, and I don't want to do that. And then you'll be under arrest, and you will go to county jail. Do you understand? Roll the window down. This is not your traffic stop. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to break your window. Open the door. Open the door, ma'am. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice. Open the door. Thank you. You're under arrest, ma'am. Need to step out of the vehicle. What did I do wrong? Need to step out of the vehicle immediately. This next Karen clearly has nothing better to do when she hurls abuse at a protest, which she was told by officers not to do numerous times. As an officer is issuing her a final warning, she does this. Get out of here. This Karen thought she'd try her luck at barging into a police station. Let's see how that one pans out. Get out! Why are you touching me? Get out! Why are you touching me? Get out! Get out of the precinct. Get out of the precinct. You're not welcome here. I'm not recording. Get out of the precinct. I'm not recording. Get out of the precinct. I need to make a police report. You're not welcome. I don't care. You're not welcome. I need to make a police report. You're not welcome. I need to make a police report. Get out of the precinct. I need to make a police report. From a new level of stupidity in our last clip, we go to a new low in our next when a disgustingly selfish Karen harasses an ambulance crew who are trying to save a stab victim's life, all because they're blocking her car. Hi, ma'am. What's your uh, what's your view on all this? I think that he needs to move. Who the ambulance? Walking. Yeah. Because he's move. blocking you in. Yeah. 
So the ambulance here dealing with the stabbing victim should move because you're inconvenient. The world is not going to stop. If that was critical, they wouldn't be sitting in a parking lot yeah, it's not doing critical, that. Right? Yeah. Okay. So. Hmm. Why are you harassing first responders doing their job, though? No, I asked them to move. I wasn't harassing Well, them. you're on... Another set of Karens in uniform on a serious power trip, chasing down an innocent man under the suspicion he was drunk driving. When they test him and he's clear, they desperately try to find a way to arrest him. Take a look. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, that's good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got nothing, man. Like I'm working, actually. I'm doing Uber. Like I wouldn't do that. Like I wouldn't risk drinking. And but I wasn't driving at all. I have a dash cam I can show you if I want. I wasn't driving the radic at all. I don't know. You've been following me all the way from the back. So, like, I came all the way. You keep following me around. You keep following me around. And eventually pulled me for whatever reason. Like, you just waste time. Like, and your time, too, of course. You just wasted your time and my time. I'm actually on my work right now. I'm working Uber. Like, I'm making money, so. I don't think, I, I think she was racially profiling me, honestly. Like, yeah. She followed me all the way around the block. You have no reason to pull me over, but I guess you were bored, maybe. I don't know. I guess you were bored, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she was. I don't know, man. Obviously, you can see there's nothing on me, so like. You obviously fall on something, like, I don't know, whatever you follow. Like, so, are we done here? Like, can I go now? Okay, fine. Have you all a good day? I said, have a good day. Something wrong? Is there anything else you wanted to say? No, I have nothing to say. I just want to go home now. I make sure what you were saying is you're getting tired and you're so I want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything. I'm done talking. Like, I'm going to want to go home. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Anyway. Right. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Vehicles in motion without your seatbelt. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, fast food restaurants. The natural habitat of the carrot. The constant beeping of the deep fries. Like a mating call. Nature at its best. This wild Karen is furious because the restaurant forgot her child's important birthday order, which was two cheeseburgers, ordered at 8:30 p.m. Male Karen plus roid rage equals toddler tantrum. Let's all just be thankful this male Karen didn't sneeze. Otherwise, it'd be game over for the poor man sitting in the car. Cool, man. Yeah. You start running into me, then you start filming. You were Karen. You were Karen. You hand on my face in my car. Get out the car and throw some punches. Come on, a 50 year old man, come on. And I'll knock the out of you. All right. Knock the living Christ out of you. Yeah. Get that. Get out of the gym. Touch me again. That's all. Get out of my Come on, mother. Get out the car. You need to relax. Get back ah! They tell me to relax when you need to 
Stop! The apple doesn't fall far from the tree in our next clip, as this drunk Karen gets arrested for driving to pick her son up from a car accident. Take a look. Registration, and then my mom has my actual insurance card. Is it temporary? Yeah, she's I think she's on her way here. Okay. He is in the process of getting insurance. He, he's like, I just last week got his insurance or talked to his insurance. Did you drive here or did someone drive here? Do what? Did you drive here? Or did I someone? drove here. How much have you had to drink tonight? Not much. I was at home and then my son called me, so. Yeah, well, what we're gonna do since you drove here, we're gonna do some tests to make sure you're all right to be driving. Fine. I'm a justice of the peace. I'm an elected official. Please. Nah. Well, what was I supposed to do? Step on that line and face me. I'll face you? Yeah, face me. Face you? Yeah, face me. No, face, face my direction. Oh, okay. Face it. Rude. It has to be someone else. That's childish. Act your age. Okay, you're a grown woman. A suspension on your driver's license um, include, but it's not limited to the suspension or revocation of your driver's privileges. But I am and if you are a bus driver. Set, and if you are a commercial driver's license holder. I can't have wine in my own house, and then now I'm being And if you are a no, I actually said a prayer in court, court yesterday for all of you guys. <laughs> Are you going to make a decision? No, I want you to call okay. Sheriff We have a Karen behind the camera clip where an outraged Karen marches into a random bakery looking for trouble because of their mask policy. It tries to put the innocent worker under citizen's arrest. Just go to another bakery or put on a mask. It's not hard, Karen. I don't. I don't wear a mask. I'm sorry. We're not serving people without masks. You're not serving people. That's discrimination. We want to discriminate. It's just the policy. Well, is it a law? Should we call the sheriff and ask him to explain the law? My manager told me that. Well, then let's call law enforcement because this is a problem. This is not a law, and I am under no obligation to wear a mask. I'm sorry, it's just what my manager told us. So, in Nazi Germany, when your manager told you to like shove people in the ovens, you would do that, I guess? I'm asking a real question. You have ovens, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will stand here until the law enforcement comes. Because I'd like to make a citizen's arrest of you. This is discrimination. I'm going to stand here. The delusional male Karen with a badge must be worried that this innocent lady is a potential time traveler. As he harasses her about a park being off limits next week. The lady is minding her own business, but this male Karen wants trouble. This uh, senior center is getting ready to open up next week with kids in it. All right. So uh, if there are kids present in the park and you don't have kids, you can't be around, you, you can't be loitering in the presence of children. You understand that? What am I doing wrong, sir? I'm studying. Okay. Am I being harassed right now? What is the problem? Um, I'm doing homework. Is this a regular park? Because there's a flag and everything here. This is a regular park. I'm talking about next week. Not right now. I'm talking about next week. I'm going to school. I'm a college student. Okay. I'm going to school. Where does it stand? Where does it stand? Okay. Ma'am, do, 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 I, do I know you, ma'am? No, I don't. So I'm telling you what's Why going on. The park? Would I have known that? Would I have known that if I had not I spoke to you? Do you still continue to explain? Yeah. Okay, so right. so this way you know for next week. I just go to Sunset Park. Follow me there. Follow okay, there. great. That's Thank right. you. No, no, you were being rude, ma'am. Ma'am, you were being rude initially. Man, you're still talking to me. Well, because you are, because you are the rude one, ma'am. I'm just doing my thing. Right. Have a good day. You too. And I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you now are uh, less ignorant than you were before, because now you know the law. After trashing a whole store in a fit of rage, this Karen claims she's done nothing wrong. But when she's about to be arrested for breaking thousands of dollars worth of goods, she starts yelling that one of the cops have broken her bracelet. Karen irony at its finest. What did I do? Oh my! I shouldn't be arrested. No, oh, give me my phone. Is it awards season? Because this Karen gives an Oscar-winning performance when she's confronted with the facts. Y'all, look at this stupid who has you walked into my own neighborhood. I hope you lose your f***ing job. You need to get out of my way. Now. Now. Get out of my way. I just, I was, so I was assaulted by a man here a few months ago. And so I'm like really on edge. And then she started banging on my window, screaming, telling me she was going to hurt me. And I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. She's like, she doesn't live here. I didn't want to let her in if she does live here. Okay, I didn't know. I'm like, I was concerned for my safety. Yeah, I don't, why? I really 
to be a growing trend with these Karens behind the camera that they go around annoying the general public, and more importantly, police officers, wasting their time and saying that there's some sort of public inspection. I think someone needs to inspect them and give them a real hobby. Okay, well then we're good, right? Yeah, I'm not detaining you. I, I, I know you're not, because I haven't committed a crime. Okay. Okay, can I get your name please and your badge number? It's right here. Is that what you say to a judge? I mean, what if I can't read? Can you not read? Maybe. You seem to be able to work your phone just fine. Well, I can't, I can't, dude, I can't even see your name because of the night. It's nighttime and there's a glare. It looks well, like a it's... a lighted parking lot. Maybe if you turn the light off your camera, you'd see it. You know what, man? There's no need to be that rude. Is your, is your Sergeant Steve Halfman? No, it's not. Can I please get your name, sir? I'm in the middle of something. So do you need something? I just you? want your name. Well, what? For, for Since you've made contact with me, I'd like I your name. I didn't contact with you. You made contact with me. Okay. So can I do something for you? No, I would just like to be left alone. I'm not bothering you. So can I go? Am, am I detained? You've never been detained. When our next Karen found tomatoes on her burger, she saw red and demanded her money back. But when the store declined, she decided to take matters into her own hands. Wait for it. We're now to a local woman facing jail time after going berserk inside a Burger King. It all happened after police say she could not have it her way. It is a story you'll see only here on 7. 7 Action News reporter Nupaka shows us what happened in Livonia. Police say Portia Tyler demanded a cash refund because her burger had tomatoes on it and she didn't order it that way. That's when she lost it. Portia Tyler is the 34 year old Harper Woods woman who police say was on a mission to get her money back from this Livonia Burger King. It was back on January 26th when they say Tyler ordered some burgers and left. She then came back the next day with one of the burgers demanding a cash refund because she said it had tomatoes on it and she didn't order it that way. When the clerk offered her food or a credit but not a cash refund, police say Tyler became irate. You can see on the surveillance video what happened next. Well, after her tomato-based tantrum, she's now facing a criminal charge of assault and battery. Justice is served. This next clip has all the hallmarks of a classic Karen video. Don't you just love it when they think they know the law? Karen, Karen, Karen. Being a woman of the land or a woman of God is going to do you no favors in a courtroom. We're not it, here to talk about race. Well, you know what? It kind of seems like it's a racist thing when the black woman doesn't have a mask on, but she comes after the white woman. Do you have a little man? Why is it your business? Because we have to identify you. If I can't identify you, I'm taking you to jail. Okay, this is okay. getting weird. Now there's students that can't identify me, they're taking you to jail. How do you identify the homeless? That's uh, they tell us their names, the date of birth. They work with us. Are you not to look up? We're not on either side. We don't know what's you going are, on you because are we can't side. identify you. You, are, Sam, you can't leave because right now you're still detained. No, you can't. You are being detained. Why am I being detained? Because we don't know who you are. Okay, I'm being detained because they don't know who I am. Okay, which we were called here. Illegal. We were called here, called here for a, a situation. Okay. A situation where I was. Which we're we're investigating. Ready. If you're a victim of assault, you need. We need to know who you are. Carabelle. So, how did you know my name was Carabelle? Because I heard you say it. Hmm. You said it on the phone when you called 911. That's no, how no, I know. No, you just called and got it. Don't lie. No. You are lying to me. I just heard you call the police officer that I talked to and get my name. Okay, you are lying. Stop. This okay. is the second time I caught you in a lie. Okay. Replay your video. I'm okay. not lying. Okay. Okay. Making the situation worse. No, you are. By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? This next clip has all the makings of a potential lawsuit after this male Karen cop arrests a man after he assaults him, claiming he's resisting arrest. Wait for it. Baldwin County, Alabama, I, 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 finest, I, 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 Booker, a.k.a. Poison, chief of police in Alberta. Head. No, no, no. Get off of me. I ain't getting nothing wrong. Leave me alone. What are you doing? Get away from me. I haven't done anything wrong. You're attacking You're under me. Arrest. For what? You're under arrest. For what? No! No, no! no! I'm not under arrest for disorderly conduct! You're under arrest now for resisting. You, I didn't do anything wrong. This is ridiculous. There's just something so poetic about irony. 
and in this clip, an Elton John lookalike Karen calls the cops on a member of the public, only to be arrested herself. I guess that's why they call it the blues. Tell him to shut the camera off now. By law, I can't. I mean, I suggest you get in your vehicle, sit down. Don't touch me. Well, get off. Don't shut touch it me. Off. Don't shut touch it me. Shut it off now. Go sit in your vehicle. I do not like my picture ma taken. Ma'am, listen to me. Sit in your vehicle. Tell him to shut it off now. Go sit in your vehicle. He can't take you, okay? Go sit in your vehicle. I'll be I right do not want side. this on YouTube. Tell him to shut it off now. Right, shut the camera shut off. Shut it off bit, okay? now. Okay, it's off. Get in your shut vehicle. it off okay. now. It's off. Shut it off. Put the guy be in your car no. now. Sh listen. No. Get in your vehicle. I'm going to arrest you for creating a disturbance, okay? Do you understand me? Dwayne? He's taping me again. Ma'am. Yeah. He's taping me again. I do not like that stuff. I do not like that stuff. Sir, I don't like that stuff. I like this satisfying clip showcases what goes around comes around to the perfect degree. What are you doing? Get the f out of camera. Go get a job. Um, and find something better to do with you. What have you done? I'm um, sorry. We're at a traffic light. And, and you, you can say whatever you want. We the media doesn't care about you. I'm not talking to the media. Another instance of a Karen thinking she knows the law better than an officer? Surely not. Well, this police officer isn't having any of it. That legislation is fraudulent. It actually doesn't apply to me. It hasn't gone through the proper avenues. That, that's that, that's, a, that's a matter of belief to yourself. And so that's the legislation. Now, okay, so legislation and acts. Mm -hmm. How apply to that's, that's your personal belief. Well, okay, so that's, that's not the belief that we work the under, okay? It's well, the law, the law. The law that I work under is very different to the law that you believe. I'm not going to enter into an argument about what you believe the law is. That's so a conversation between you when and the, the judicial system, okay? Karma of the instant variety now, as this Karen thinks she's pretty slick knocking over other people's parked electric scooters, thinking she'd slip away into the crowd and never get caught. Well, she didn't count on a set of quick-witted officers nearby to pounce and make her pay for her crimes. <laughs> this Karen is gonna learn just how quick karma can clap back after she takes being rude to a waiter to a whole new level. And while she may not have been served the food she wanted, she's about to be served a heaping plate of justice. What the f are you talking to? I'm working. You, you're yeah, you work here. Are you the manager? Are you the owner? <laughs> are you starting to your no, because I asked her that I said we weren't done eating yet. I am literally working in this. I don't give a. You, you, what do you do here? You're a cop. Grab those balls up. Come over here right now. Who owns the place? Who owns the place? We're eating here. All I asked the girl, I said to the girl, I said we're still eating. We're we're not done yet. That's all I said. And you started getting cocky and being a. Karen, what's the language? Karen? Yeah. You're literally ruining Why don't you ever eat again because you weigh 500 pounds? Why? About that. Fat. I didn't do what I'm doing. I didn't do What am I doing? I didn't do anything. Our next clip is at a McDonald's drive thru where a Karen implodes because she hasn't been served. Well, after this took place, she'll be the one who's serving. I have children in the car, ma'am. Get out the car and see me then. I have children in the car. You shouldn't never cut. You shouldn't never cut, you stupid ass bitch. I don't give a about your kids. You don't give a about mine. So yeah, record me. I'm on what camera. What an example. I'm on camera. Wow. You bitch. Ugly ass Don't throw it. Don't, just, it's okay.
You're okay, puppy. Okay? Shortly after the video was recorded, she was arrested and charged with two counts of felony assault with a deadly weapon, two counts of child endangerment, and the list goes on. All that for a Big Mac. This male Karen clashes with his neighbor as he thinks he owns the entire street he lives on. I live right there, and I've lived there for seven years. I've lived there for longer than him, but he doesn't want me to park in front of his house because he apparently has five cars that he needs to park here. <laughs> so they're trying to bully me, which they do to every neighbor. They leave nasty notes on every neighbor's car, swearing at people not to park in front of their house. And this thinks I'm threatened by her opening, she opened my car door. Where's your car? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna park while you're still here so that they don't do the same once you leave. Old man Karen calls the cops on a group of teenagers claiming they pulled a gun on him, which they didn't. And when the cops turn up, they see through the male Karen's lies and put him in his place for wasting their time. Look how many police officers are here from what somebody said there's a gun here. Think about what you're saying. There's, look how many police cars are here. I raped in my wife because I didn't say. Well, who called? Maybe you should bring your wife out about this. I'm asking you! Who called? I called. So who said there's a gun here? On land or in the air, Karens always find a way to make it about them. This delightful Karen has clearly had one too many drinks. But that's no excuse, as moments before this video was recorded, she was seen spitting on passengers. Yep, you're gonna have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. Anyways. She's a representative of the aircraft, they don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get Up off the aircraft. made us wait and wait and wait! Yeah, that's the way it is, but right now I'm gonna And that's you... fine, and I will respect that. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to grab your bag and just and step off the aircraft. And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually, just respect. We'll talk about just, it outside. Just, just, all right, yeah, yeah, you grab won't. Grab your bag and yeah, just step yeah, off you the won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. Yeah. Okay. You need me to get up? You ready? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to say. Yeah, sure. No, to everybody. Do you want to get arrested? I really Then honestly, stand up and get off the aircraft. That's all you I have really, to do. I really, it's not about that, man. See, that's not healing. We're not healing. If I get off the plane, no. you said you wouldn't arrest me. So you as a cop should have to honor that. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Sometimes a Karen isn't always on the right side of the law. And our next clip is a prime example of that. This police officer turned male Karen decides to take it upon himself to arrest someone at a city council meeting for speaking their mind, which is apparently against the law. Take a look for yourself. My three minute period supports my criticism about the government. Yes, and I have three minutes to give the government some criticism. Okay, I'm not leaving until... Are my three minutes up? He's going to leave. I'm not leaving. Okay. You want to be arrested? I'm sure arrest me. Okay. Sure you want to be arrest me for speaking my first amendment rights. Go ahead. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Our next clip is a textbook example of how to lose your job in 1 minute and 25 seconds, as this male Karen cop uses his job as an excuse to assault a young man, all because he thought the young man slapped him first. Take a look for yourself. Hey, what I tell you? I told you I was waiting for somebody to come here? They right here. Hey. <laughs> bro, you goofy as bro. Hey, Mr. Hey. Jack is making a big deal out of nothing, Brody, Brody. You're making a big deal out of You real big, ain't. though, huh? Hey, yeah, you real big. Hey. hey, you real big. Hey. Bro, we hey. live here. Okay. Dude, just leave him alone, Thank bro. You. He, he just came Thank over. Hey, where was, I, where was I at? Where was I at? Right here. I told you, bro, the ride the came, bro. The people came. I'm finna dip. I have no reason to be detained by you. It's funny as hell, bro. Bro. Hey. Bro. Hey, hey, let him 30. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check it. It's all good. Hey, what we doing? What, what we doing? What we doing? Hey, look at my name. What we doing? What we doing? I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to come. I'm waiting for somebody to come. All right, bro, tell him stop touching me, bro. First of all, stop touching me, bro. Nah, back up out of here, bro. Listen to me. Bro, y'all are goofy, bro. I'm talking to you. Bro, nobody snatched you, bro. Where I snatched you? Did it? Where I snatched you? Where I snatched you? Where I snatched you? 
All right, but why are you grabbing me, though? Why are you grabbing me? Why are you grabbing me? Bro, bro, stop talking to me, bro. I ain't got nothing to say to you, bro. Luckily, the young man received a $125,000 settlement payout for this wrongful arrest and assault and male Karen officer lost his badge forever. This balancing barefoot Karen is absolutely raging over the fat to meat ratio of her belly pork. If I was her, I'd be worrying about the face to sunglasses ratio she's got going on. Disgusting is what it was. It's all fat. It's got this much pork in the middle underneath the tomato. Because the second charge you had, the second one, well first one wasn't bad enough, the second one came back from the microwave. $13 and whatever cents. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna bring out the big guns here. I'm gonna love this. No one cares. I don't care what you're saying, pal. Just for you, I might hold you up a little bit more. I, I don't care. I've got nowhere to be. I've got nowhere to be. I'll speak to anybody how I like. My day off, you dummy. I'll speak to anybody how I like. My day off, you dummy. I'll speak to anybody how I like. 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 I
Have you ever seen what the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment looks like in human form? Well, get ready, because this Karen is about to explode. Someone check her blood pressure. Yeah, he said that you'd be working. He didn't say that you'd be packing a piece of heavy machinery in front of my house. Where can I pack? Oh, I don't give a And it's not give a Dad, your dad said it's okay. Your dad said No, I didn't care what my dad said! Move! Your dad said okay. Move! If you don't move, I will call the police. I've got Do you understand? They sent me an email saying that you'll be cutting things. Yeah, I'll get a that you'll be having a huge piece of machinery in front of my yeah, house. I don't give a Move it! Look, look, we can't move it. We can't look, move. I will call the cops. Call him, call, call him. him. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, look that yeah, I have that, a piece of machinery right in front of my house. That's, that's the job. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? How are we going to do the job without the machine? Look! I can't believe you have allowed them to park a heavy piece of machinery in front of my house. I have to work today. Yourself. Yet another Karen who thinks they're above the law, and in this case, thinks they know the law better than a police officer. But when she tries to worm her way out of trouble, she ends up digging herself a bigger hole. You do not belong to any country. Yeah, but as no. long as you're in the sovereign states of the United States, you will abide by the rules no. and laws. See, uh, and you have a free in, no, a free inhabitant is 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 uh, they are allowed to they are they're free people they um have all of the all of the rights of a u.s citizen without following any of their laws well that would just be pure anarchy no, if that were the no, case no no because so we're peaceful people oh, we're peaceful people please. why You're not free to leave why as soon as i conclude the rest of my investigation you will be free to leave as far as i know you have not done anything wrong at this point but you are slowly reaching okay, to that point you know what? 148 pc i'll get out of the vehicle for you I will get out of the vehicle. No, I'm getting mama. All right. Well, you're not free to leave. I'm. I. I you're no. gonna take the bag off. No. No, I'm not. Since 2020, a new breed of Karen has slowly emerged, and we found one here who, just like the rest, thinks they're above the rules. Uh, you need my I ID? want your business card? Yes, of course. No, you want to get my your... business card? I'll give my ID. Then it costs no, 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 no. You are required to give. And so I give you, you a direction to provide down. your name and you address. You can write it down on a piece of paper for me. Yeah. I need his as well. This I is... have not committed a crime. What, you have? What crime have you, I committed? You have breached the COVID restrictions. It's eh? not a law. Judge K, back in yeah. 2011. I yep. actually passed. Okay. Can you put your hands behind no, your back there? Uh, Can you put your hands behind uh, your back? One second. I have to put you under arrest. If you arrest me, I will back? have you charged yes. with false arrest. That's okay. That's okay. Personally this next Karen thinks it'd be hilarious to spray her friend with mace outside right in front of the police. And she can't see how her actions deserve any consequences. With friends like her, you don't need enemies. After this Karen thinks she's pulled a fast one by stealing someone's dog, she's made to eat humble pie in front of the police. That they found it or? No, that's not the same dog. That's definitely my dog. Bro, that's my dog. Hey, Ginger. Now, this is a male. Okay, why is my... Ginger. Come here, Gigi. Come here, good girl. Hey, Gigi Luigi. I'll press charges next time, ma'am. I'll for definitely for the stand. I even brought it and had it microchipped in the- If you had to imagine what a Karen police officer would look like, these two Karens, I'm sure, wouldn't be far off. They try to double team an innocent worker as the cops don't feel safe because of her BLM mask. And like any Karen, and like any Karen anywhere in the world, they go and talk with her manager. You will not be coming here any longer. So okay. Can we speak to your other manager then too? Can you who's, ask the who's, manager? Who's above you? Who's the the like? person that's above me is not here. Okay. Who is that? What's the phone number? His phone number? Mm -hmm. I don't know his phone number off the top of my head. Okay, but do you have it on your phone? No, I do not. 
Okay. So if something if something happened to the store right now and you have to get a hold of him, how would you do that? Look for his number. Okay, let's go look for his number. Why? Because we're going to talk to him. What do you need to talk to him for? Because we don't feel safe coming here any longer. We're oh, you don't that. feel safe coming here? To eat? Correct. Okay. So well, that's great. After saying and doing some disgusting things, this drunk Karen can't believe she's being thrown out of the concert. That is until the police show up. Listen as they cheer when she's removed. <laughs> Karma comes to save the day on our flip after a crazed, entitled Karen hurls abuse at people using public park facilities. The only facilities she'll be using now are inside a jailhouse. Go to pay for s Other than certain things, only 4% of your tax dollars go to something. Look it up in the law books. Okay, I don't- Get off my tennis court with those roller skates. There's a sign and you knew it. Keep going. Oh, yeah, film it. Watch what see what happens to your if the last person. I'm coming. I'm coming. So Mercy Get Meyer. Off my tennis court. Okay. So you're saying that I'm Get gonna end up I'm gonna end up like everybody Get else? Off my tennis court. I'm coming. Like all the other black people, I'm gonna end up like them. Okay, you just said that I'm gonna end up like everybody else. So who are you referring to, Marcy Meyer? Five minutes later. These next Karens in blue decide to crash what was a low-key vigil for the death of a young teen, even though it was away from the public on a private property. But it doesn't stop these scumbags from harassing this grieving family and even threatening to come back with more tickets. Can not be gentle about this? Why oh, you want to talk to a minor? I'm not going to say to you. Tell me. I want to know what you're doing. Exactly. I saw beer being drank over there and you right there. Literally, like, they see the pain we're going through, like... I'm doing my job. But I'm trying to keep it low-key, but you're the one that wants to make it not low-key. You're talking about it to me to get to the right thing. I know, he's drinking out here, and I saw him drinking. If I want to go get him, I'll go get him. Right over there. Right there. I guess you missed that one, didn't you? Yeah, you missed that one, didn't you? Our next clip captures the kleptomaniac Karen. They normally thrive off stealing positive energy, but this one's trying to steal a trolley full of shopping and somehow thinks the louder she screams, the less guilty she is. Her village is going off. Of the village. Male Karen is causing a scene in the middle of the night at IHOP, and just before it goes nuclear, a cop with perfect timing arrests the male Karen. Sometimes everything just falls into place. Blink and you'll miss it. Every single table. There are three servers on, sir. We can only do so much. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. Who else is open? Go Nobody there. else. Well, exactly. you know, I'm not gonna pay for a meal. Well, then bye. You're out. Hello, we go. Oh, oh. Oh. You better put that right in my eye. That's on my throat. 
Drama at IHOP, bro. <laughs> After calling her husband, our next Karen claims that she's been abducted and wasn't joking. Her husband called the police and you'll never guess what happened next. Well, actually you might. 5 a.m. police say 32-year-old Carla Vasquez was at her home on Northwest 42nd Street and 17th Avenue when she called her husband in a panic. He did receive a call while he was at work from her stating that there were two men with her and that she was in danger. Vasquez's husband initially thought his wife's call for help was a prank, telling her he was busy before hanging up. 32-year-old Carla Vasquez leaves the Miami Police Department in handcuffs on her way to jail. Next up, we have a Karen double act who think they've got away with hitting an officer with his car after he gave them a ticket of over $500. But as they speed off into the distance, the officer they hit gets into his vehicle and chases them down. The couple end up with a broken window, two broken egos, and a heap of jail time. Right now with your boss, you try and bully me, you piece of sh you. $67? You There's another officer on the way to talk to you, okay? Yeah, this guy can f right off. And he, this ticket, he can shove up his f Stay on the phone with me until the other officer gets here to defuse the situation. I no longer feel safe because of the little b behind me. You're a fing little bitch. Give me my ticket and go f yourself, goofball. Fuck you. Fuck you. Off, you You're a fing clown. Get my fing truck now. I have to He's breaking my window. Vehicle now. Holy f Get him in right here! Assaulting a police get him, officer! Get him right here! Doing? Holy! Help me! Help me! I won't! Send! Turn around! Please. Send somebody now, please! Send a gun on my husband! He's tripping balls! Send someone now! Help me! Help me! Help me! Holy! Get him in right here! Get him in right here! Holy! Help me! Help me! Holy! Please. What are you doing? He didn't do anything! Send more people, please! There's another officer here, but he just told me to sh Back again at a fast food restaurant, this drunk Karen is causing problems for other customers. Hey, I'm a black woman from the land. You can stick your ugly picture in Indian Muslim car. Oh, that's it. I'm calling the cops. Ah, uh, you can. Ah, uh, you can't even speak publicly. Look at your teeth. But you're ugly and you're not even a black woman. What are you hanging around? What are you hanging around? Stop. Have you looked at your? Stop. You Indian cats are ugly. I didn't say anything funny that's about you. He's ugly white. You just like them ugly white little dogs. Stop! Stop it! Stop! You might do that one, man. Sorry, I'm with the f eh? After accusing a restaurant worker of serving her cat food instead of chicken, this Karen decides to spout homophobic and transphobic abuse at the worker and passerby. And this crazed Karen has a one way ticket to a jail cell. Wait for it. Do you have a I don't know. That's kind of my business. Do you? Yeah, that's a weird thing to ask. You're the one asking me what gender I am. You're. I didn't ever ask you that. You're asking my pronouns. I didn't ask that either. Do I look like a man? I don't know what you Do look I like. Do I sound like a man? Maybe. I don't know. Do I stand like a man? What does a man stand like? Oh, then I guess no. You sneaky b Are you recording me right now? Call 911. They're already on the way. Perfect. Can't wait to talk to the officer. Ah! Stop! Ah! Oh, stop! This YouTuber is trying to grab a coffee in peace when a jumped up male Karen thinks he's a tough dude and starts running his mouth at the YouTuber. You won't believe some of the things that were said, but just wait for the ending. What goes around comes around. I see the shit you're doing. You got no life. You are a nobody. You just want attention and you're destroying our community. You're destroying everyone here. You're putting hate out there. You understand what you're trying to do? I don't I think you guys are doing publicity. it all by yourself. I don't care about this publicity. Bro. I think you're doing it all by Stay yourself. Stay home. Stay or in what? your fucking little hole. Or what? And don't fucking bring hate to this world, bro. Or what? Don't bring hate. What do you mean, or what? If or I see what? you outside, I swear to God. What the fuck do you think you are? Come out. Come out. Call the police right now. Come on. Yeah, what's up? I'm in your fucking face. What's up, mommy? What's up, nigga? I got a hundred people here. I want to destroy, I'll destroy you, you understand? Put a finger on me, come on. You put a finger on me, let's see you tough guy. Put a finger on me and see what I'm gonna do to you. Swear to God, bro, look at my hands, bro. Look you at my hands. A lot. Come on, do something. Do talk something. Oh, you know who the f this guy is? He's a fucking criminal. He should deserve death right now. He should fucking die right now. This f should die right now. But all the fucking hate he's putting out there, and I'm, I'm 
pay my taxes. I have no problem with nobody, bro. You go to little kids, bro. You go to fucking little kids. You're fucking school right here. Yeah, 10 minutes ago, he has a live stream by the school harassing little motherfucking I kids. Hope you stay yeah. there Motherfucker, you! Hell oh, yeah, bro! I will destroy you. Think cops can hold me back? Court can hold me back, motherfucker. Do real estate too, motherfucker. I know every law in the book. Come on, put a finger on me, please. Do something, motherfucker. Do something. That's it, bro. You're the evil, bro. You're the face of darkness, and I'm light. And I'll fucking you, motherfucker. I'll fucking you. I'll fucking destroy you. I was in the Israeli army. Fuck, I'll rip you apart so quick. Do something illegal. Do there's, something! There's his buddy over there. <laughs> How are you? There, there, there. I want to sincerely apologize to you yes. for what I've done. That time when I approached you, I didn't mean to threaten you. I didn't mean to do anything in any way to obstruct the law. And I really do apologize. Pretty much it. Do you accept my apology? I do. Is there anything else I can apologize for? Nope. We have a trigger-happy Karen who threatens a group of children just to make a point. Talk about power going to your head. Just how quickly the tables turn for this turbo Karen in our next clip. Don't you just love seeing them get what's coming to them? We all love a happy ending. Go ahead. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, I love your garb. You look like a problems. They're here in our country. In our country. In our country. Get her out. She's get you on the floor. Listen, this guy is threatening me. She's filming me. She's filming me. Get out of my face, honey. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You want me to spit on you again? You need a mask, ma'am. Want me to spit on you, ugly oh, what? To you, if what you do ugly that, I'm gonna fucking hit you. Ugly Why do you wear clothes like that? Yeah. Why do you have clothes like that? Right? And there's Muslims here yeah, that are yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Muslims. God. Muslims. Where is he? Yes. They told me no just now. Please, please don't do this. I, I accept your apology. I have friends that are Muslims. Yeah, we, we were a nice twist of fate next, when a cranky old Karen calls the cops on a group of teenagers, only to be arrested herself for filing a false police report while the teens watch. Hey, <laughs> Why, why is she repeating the cops? What?